Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In this episode, I will show you some more tips and tricks on making your river rapids uh, look nice. Well, here you can see the river rapids uh, that I made for the announcement video for the contest yesterday. Um, some people asked uh, or were wondering how to make their uh, river rapids uh, look nicer. So in this video I will uh, show you some uh, some cool tricks that you can use. Now for the first trick uh, I will show you something uh, to make your drops a little bit more uh, believable. This uh, will also look great if, if you place it under a waterfall. So here I made this uh, little drop here using the splash boat track. Uh, if you want a little bit of white water effect under it, I just made made another river rapids now, and uh, using the disabled clearance check sheet, and now I'm holding shift, and then I can uh, build on the water, and you can copy and uh, paste this uh, track piece, the other parts of this drop. And it will just make it look like a bit of uh, uh, like some water is actually uh, rushing down here. You can extend this uh, if you like. But yeah, I think this uh, usually gives a nice effect to the bottom of your uh, of your drops. You could also use it on the top if you want it. Okay, um, another thing that you can do is uh, well, I made the track invisible now, but. Um, uh, if you place river rapids on your right, uh, they will still work. So I will now make a, I will now change the right back to uh, river rapids. Let's close the right for now. And here I have some straight track, and I will just, you can just place some uh, rapids here. Uh, if I change it back to a lift right type, uh, they will become invisible again but uh, the boats will uh, rock back and forth on them, like they would normally do. So that's a fun trick you can do. You could actually uh, also place some of uh, these rapids underwater under it, just to make it look uh, yeah, more believable. Right, another thing you should keep in mind is that uh, when you open your ride, uh, if, you, if it is, the track type is river rapids, then uh, it will actually spawn with as many boats as it can for the track length. Um, if the ride is a lift, for example, and now you uh, open it, it will only have one boat. So you should keep that in mind. What I usually do is I change it to a river rapids ride, open it, and then only change it to a lift type so the track becomes invisible. Okay, um, something else. Uh, I made a tunnel here. But it actually became invisible because uh, because uh, I just changed it into the lift right type. So if I want a tunnel to be visible, I should make a tunnel here with the other track or with a path. Uh, I actually like to use the splash pouch track, so that's what I will do here. Um, I will now first change this right back to a steeple chase. Um, actually, that's not really necessary. <laughs> I'll change it back. Okay, um, we go into Tile Inspector, and actually, I'll just copy this uh, splash hoods track piece. Let's put it above water. Needs to be one higher, so I can actually build from it. Okay, and I think I want a straight piece here in. Uh, these into the water and now I will just copy this piece and we put it here at the entrance to the tunnel uh, make sure this track element is on uh, is on top that way you are sure it won't merge with the other track and turn off this uh, apply change to entire track piece because it may mess up uh, the original ride when you lower this track piece. Okay. And now we will do the same with the straight track piece. We'll just copy it here. Make sure it's on top. Uh, 
Actually, we need to uh, move this below surface. But we have, just have to make sure it's above the original track. So we lower it above surface, but still above the original track. That way it won't merge. And now, as you can see, we have a tunnel here, which the boats will go through, even though their normal track is uh, invisible. So yeah, I think this is a, this is a cool trick to use. All right, um, here's a bit of a different trick. Um, if you use these uh, monorail walls for your ride, and uh, you raise the land uh, next to it. You will always uh, see these uh, land edges behind the wall. And if they bother you, uh, I found a cool trick to, uh, to hide them. I typically use the conifer edges. So I now just hold control. So I can build on the same height. And now I will also hold shift and move them a bit down. And now above this conifer edge, I will hold control. So I can build at the same height and that way you can just cover these uh, wall pieces here. I'll do the same here. Maybe a bit tricky to find the correct spot. But yeah, this is an uh, easy way to hide those uh, to hide those land edges. Maybe you'll see it better if I also do it here. Of course, it does look quite uh, blocky now, but that will be better when you also put uh, other shrubs or other items uh, above it. This will just make it look a little bit more, uh, yeah, let's call it uh, natural. <laughs> this is, I think, this is a cool trick to hide those. Uh, land edges. Alright, um, next trick I want to show you is, uh, well I already built it like here, um, if you make any uh, ramps, for example like the splash boat ramp that I uh, used here, um, I always make sure the ramps uh, also end um, below water level. So um, I will just I will just quickly show you here. Let's make a little hill. Okay, now if you build a ramp down, I always make sure that I can start like this. And when I end the ramp, I always end it underwater like this. That way the boats will continue on the water and the ramp looks like it ends uh, naturally. If you use the normal slope, um, it usually looks weird. You get this uh, this edge at the what at the yeah at the water edge, and it generally looks nicer if you really end it like this. Same for the beginning of the slope. As you can see, uh, it has a weird edge here on the, on the edge. <laughs> It usually looks better if you uh, start it with a with a small slope upwards. That way, it, I think it just looks a bit more uh, natural. I did the same here for this uh, lift hill made with hardline twisted track. So as you can see here at the bottom, it uh, it just slopes underwater. So it begins underwater, and also it uh, ends with a slope into the water. So it doesn't end uh, on top of the water, but really into the water. I did the same here for this uh, wooden coaster track. And I think it's the, it's the nicest way to do these uh, slopes. Alright, here's the next uh, trick. Um, this one I also showed in my uh, video where uh, on the monorail walls. But it's a quick and easy trick to show. So. I have disabled the clearance uh, checks. Now, if you make this monorail wall, you often get these uh, supports. If they are above the water, um, 
the best way to hide these supports is by just placing a garden. Then you go into Tile Inspector, you select the garden and you just move it and then you change the height so it's under the ground. If you do that, um, just make sure it's below all the other track pieces in the, in the order and then all the supports will uh, disappear. So you just place uh, some gardens, you select them, you make sure they're below all the other track pieces but still above the surface and you just change the base height so they're underground and the supports uh, will disappear. Like that. So it's very easy. Alright. Now here's another uh, little cool trick you can do. If you use these uh, monorail walls, uh, it will often look nice to put, uh, put a steeplechase track on top. I will show you what that looks like. So basically look like a little uh, railing. So maybe it's also nice if you put some path, uh, if have some path next to it. So yeah, when in a, you want to uh, make a curve higher or lower, you should uh, always check apply changes to entire track piece. Or else you will only uh, make one little piece of the curve uh, higher or lower. And that will give you problems later if you want to uh, remove it. Anyway, this is just a simple little trick that uh, can look nice in, uh, in some situations. And I think it will also help make this... Uh, yeah, I think this actually looks a lot nicer than only using the monorail track. But uh, don't overdo it. Alright, and here's a last uh, general tip that I want to give you. Um, if you make one of these river rapids rides, um, you should you should have some diversity between parts of the ride. For example, here I used this uh, sort of uh, jungle-like trees. Um, just make sure that you don't do this uh, same look along of the entire track. Uh, if you've ever ridden one of these, there's usually uh, along the track there's uh, different things for you to uh, to look at. Usually there's some buildings, or uh, I've been on a ride where there were some uh, abandoned ships or Viking ships. There were actually statues of gods fighting with each other. <laughs> it was really crazy. And I went on another one where there were uh, all these uh, dinosaur animatronics uh, next to the track. But yeah. Uh, some diversity in the, the scenery next and landscape next to the track is really uh, what makes these uh, rides good. All right, I hope these uh, tips were helpful for you, and I can't wait to see what uh, kind of uh, creations you guys will uh, come up with. All right, see you later.